I'm going to show you a feature in this video that we've added to QMage 1 version 2021, which many of our customers have been requesting. That is using templates and layouts. Let's go ahead and see how this works. On the left, we have our thumbnails, which you're used to seeing. But at the bottom, we have this new thumbnail, which is called template. It doesn't represent any image on your disk. It's actually a convenience so that you can design your own custom layouts. I can treat the template thumbnail just like any other thumbnail. I can highlight it and then click a print size and that template will now appear on the live view. There's no image data because this is just a placeholder. I can add more sizes and you can see that the templates arrange themselves just as prints would. Because the templates are placeholders, I can take a thumbnail and when I drag it onto these templates, you can see that the template is now replaced with the print. This makes it really convenient if you need to design your print sizes ahead of time to see how they fill out before you've decided exactly where the prints will be going. Part of the reason to use templates is you may need to recreate a design for future use. You could be designing a photo book, you could want to reprint the same package for an event such as a wedding, or you could be preparing prints to go in a frame to hang on a wall. So let's look at how we make use of templates in layouts. We'll start by removing everything that we have on the live view. We'll select the template again, and we'll make ourselves just a simple design. We can also move some of the, lay the templates by hand, basically however we want things to be arranged. We can apply the same properties to templates that we can to prints. So if this template down here, I wanted this to have a border, I can just add that, and you see the border appears around the template, and then that will carry over when we add a print. Now let's go ahead and save our new layout. Notice down here that the placement mode has been changed from the three buttons for the Intelli modes to this new uh, layout menu. So if I click on here, down at the bottom, I see the choice Save Current as Custom Layout. I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to give it a name. You have the choice to save all of the print settings along with the layout. This is a good idea if you want things to be exactly the way they are the next time it works similar to a job. If you want to reuse the layout in different printers, media types, different sizes of paper like you made for a contact sheet which I'll show later, then you probably want to uncheck this. You can also choose whether to load the print settings when you uh, recall a layout as well. So now we hit save and the simple layout appears down here so we know what layout we are using. So now when I select a thumb to add to the layout, when I click on the plus, notice that it goes in the first available template. I add the next one, it fills there, and so on. This has the border around the print. Now when I click a fourth one, I get a fresh page of templates. This is page one, and I am on page two. And it will continue adding as many template pages as is needed to fill out the layout. If I remove all the prints in the job, I get my page of templates back in my layout and then I just want to show you that if I do select multiple thumbnails and I change the number of copies to two, when I click plus I get six prints on two pages. It's also possible to drag a print into an existing print in a template. So if I wanted to replace this print I just drag like so. So if I move back into one of the IntelliPlacement modes and I remove everything, I want to show you how you can bring back that layout you've defined. All you need to do is go down to the menu here and you can pick either the last layout that was defined or you can load a new one. So if I click simple layout, it brings my templates right back and I can go back to adding prints. Now there's a second way you can create your own custom layout and that's from an existing print job or existing prints on the live view. So I'm going to go back into one of the automatic placement modes. I'm going to clear everything out and I'm going to load up a job that I had in the past. This brings back my prints, my uh, printer, media size, everything, the borders I had. Let's say this is a job you had printed in the past and you wanted to reuse this in the future. You can just come down here again and say save current as custom layout. And we'll call this one layout2 and save it. And notice now when I remove everything, the template's there with the borders ready for me to reuse. I can add prints and it will fill out just as before. You can also combine custom layouts into one job. I'll just finish filling out the last template on this page 
Let's say this was a cover for a book and I wanted to make the uh, internal pages of the book a different layout. Well, all I have to do is come down here, select Load Custom Layout. I'll pick the one I have defined here, Box Layout. I'll say Load. And you notice I get this prompt which says, would you like to apply the new custom layout to the existing prints and pages in the job? In this case, I'll say no because I don't want them to be reformatted. I notice that it leaves page one alone, but when I go to page two, I now have these new templates, and as I add prints, they will be filled out just as before. Now, just to show you what happens if you answer yes to that prompt, I'm going to go back and show you the contact sheet that I mentioned earlier. If I load that contact sheet here, I say load. This time I'm going to say yes. It's going to reformat the existing prints in the job to conform to this layout. I'll adjust the paper size because this is a little large for this contact sheet. But you can see that the eight prints I had in the job are now fill in the first eight templates. And as I add more, they'll continue to fill out just as we would expect. So that wraps it up for templates and layouts in the new QImage 1 2021. We hope that you find these features really helpful and keep making great prints.